and i hope that with the information that you got from this video you can understand this particular statement i graduated from msu in 2020 with a bachelor's degree majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology although i took french courses i did not meet the minimum credit requirements to graduate with a minor in french what's up everybody it's your girl jackie Fai, and this is day 21 of my 90 day challenge series where for 90 days i'm highlighting a college major letting you know what it's about what courses to expect in college and what are some of the career paths you can get into with this degree so before i move on with the rest of the series i decided to use this video to explain what some of the terminologies that i've been using are and this is specifically university terminology so what is a course what is a degree what is the difference between the two uh what is a major what is a minor these are some of the terminologies that i will be explaining in this video so stay tuned let's start off with a college major so a college major is a specific field of study that you focus on when in college so it's a combination of all the courses or classes that you will take in college that give you the knowledge for that field so technically a major is a field a field of study what specifically are you studying in college in this whole video i will be using biochemistry uh, major and courses to explain some of these terminology i majored in biochemistry biochemistry is the field however in order to understand biochemistry i needed to take courses or classes in molecular biology cell biology organismal biology organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry some classes in physics and math all of these courses are mentioned in a previous video that i did on biochemistry major these are courses that i took in order to have the foundational knowledge in biochemistry if you haven't noticed already i have been mentioning courses and classes interchangeably because some countries or some regions they refer courses as classes and classes as courses so math 101 course is the same as math 101 class are you with me perfect let's continue related to college majors is actually college degrees so some places they do tend to use these interchangeably but specifically in the u.s a degree is a certification that you get once you graduate so once you graduate from college you earn a degree and there are four types of degrees there's an associate degree a bachelor's degree which is commonly referred to as undergraduate degree a master's degree or a doctoral degree so doctoral and master's they fall on the graduate degrees and some of these degrees have sub degrees so you can have a bachelor of arts uh, a bachelor of science a master's in arts or a master's in science those are sub divisions or like sub classes of the the larger degree for a ba you probably took a lot more of classes than field work well for a bachelor's of science degree you probably did like a thesis or you had some field work or in the case of biochemistry you had a lot of lab classes as well as lecture classes so let's recap we know that college major is the field of study it's made up of courses and courses is the same as classes and once you graduate you earn a degree it can be an associate a bachelor's a master's or a doctorate degree and these doctorates can have subcategories of bachelor in arts or sciences so when i say that i graduated with a bsc in biochemistry and molecular biology it means that i graduated with a bachelor's degree with a major in biochemistry and molecular biology hope you're good so far so let's continue next up is college minors so college minors is half of a major <laughs> i know that's this sounds so trivial like uh, duh if in order to graduate with a college major you need 40 courses then with a college minor you need 20 courses that's why i'm saying it's half of a major and most of the time a college minor is really useful for specializing in something that is not taught within the courses for your major so for example i did biochemistry and molecular biology most of my classes were in biochemistry math but working in a lab i do need to do a lot of statistics so i took some classes in statistics if i had taken a lot of statistics courses to make up two years of my four-year degree then that would have been a statistics minor if you know me 
then you probably know that I wanted to join the military and probably do uh, Doctors Without Borders at some point in my life. That dream is no longer existed. But while I was working towards that, I did take some French classes. Actually, did take almost two years worth of French classes. However, I didn't meet all the requirements to graduate with a French minor. I thought I would be working in uh, remote countries and French would be beneficial to learn. So I did take some classes or some courses in French to supplement my major such that when I graduate I will have not only the science knowledge but also the the language if I'm being honest I don't remember anything in French <laughs> I'm sorry Irene, my TA, I love you so much. <laughs> Next up we have the credit system and this is a system that is used widely in US universities and US high schools actually. The credit system is a point system that is associated with each course and it's supposed to denote how intense a course is and how much time you need to work on the course. Basically if a course is designated as a one credit course it means that for one hour you will be in a lecture so you'll be in class and for two hours you'll be working on your homework outside of class so if it's a three credit course then it means for three hours a week you will be in class in a lecture type or some type of lab and for six hours you will be working on homework so in total for an entire week you are spending nine hours of your time working on this particular course right on average courses in university are three to four credits and in a semester you do require to take about 12 to 15 credits in order to graduate on time so you do need to have 120 credits in order to graduate with a degree in a specific area some universities might have different requirements but on average 120 is the minimum number of credits you need to graduate with a bachelor's degree so let's recap a college course has on average three to four credits you need about 15 credits per semester to graduate on time for the four years that you are in college you need a total of 120 minimum credits so at some point you will do a you know an extra course here an extra course there so you might end up graduating with a little bit more than that i graduated with 131 total credits again because i took french classes when figuring out what courses to take and when to take them and how many courses and credits you should take it's good to sit down with your advisor and work out a plan for each semester because you don't want to waste time taking unnecessary courses and also waste money because most universities they do charge their classes per credit and also you do need to consider time 15 is pretty good to manage as a college student if you do go beyond that it can get overwhelming in one of the semesters i did take around 21 credits it was a lot i was so overwhelmed i can be a little bit overachiever so i was like i know i can do this but yeah it drained it drained me taking 21 credits so that is something i would advise against doing 15 16 credits that's pretty manageable beyond that it can get tricky so are we still good yes yes everyone everyone anyone yes okay sounds good let's continue i hope you've been getting some value from this video as i said it's a little bit off from the series that i've been doing and i hope that with the information that you got from this video you can understand this particular statement i graduated from msu in 2020 with a bachelor's degree majoring in biochemistry and molecular biology although i took french courses i did not meet the minimum credit requirements to graduate with a minor in french if you're getting value from this video give it a thumbs up and in the comment section let me know what other videos you want featured in the future check out this video and learn something new today see you all tomorrow as we discuss chemical engineering and i've been chilling watching the ocean with you baby up with a slow motion crew and we up in the clouds when people change but not us and we just chilling kicking it kissed by the sun could be